Hello everyone, welcome to our Nature at Home digital learning series. My name is Kim Curran, I'm a naturalist with Calvert County Natural Resources and today I'm going to be doing a critter spotlight on one of the animals that lives at the Battle Creek Cypress Swamp Nature Center. So today who I have with me is an Eastern King Snake and these are a local species they can be found here in Calvert County and really up and down the eastern coast of the United States. They're a non-venomous species, which means when they eat, they are constrictors. They will squeeze their food tightly until it dies and they can swallow it. They're not going to be injecting any sort of venom into their prey. They're a pretty docile or calm species in general. Now this one is very used to being handled because it lives here at the nature center, but even wild king snakes um, tend to not be super aggressive. They are um, fairly calm in nature. And these are a mostly terrestrial snake which means that um, you're pretty much only going to find them along the ground. They can live in a variety of habitats. They can live in woodland areas and in, you know, grassy meadows, um, but they really only live along the ground. So if you see a snake climbing a tree that is black and shiny, that's probably going to be a rat snake or something like that. These guys really are not climbers. Another really interesting thing I wanted to show you is this snake skin shed that I have. Now this is actually the shedded skin of that king snake that I was holding. And this is actually gonna give you a much better idea of how big that snake was. Okay. So king snakes in general are about a three to four foot long snake. It's kind of hard to tell when I was holding it because it was all wrapped around my arm, trying to keep itself warm since snakes are reptiles. They're gonna get their body heat from their surroundings. So he was just trying to keep himself warm by wrapping himself tightly around my arm. But this really gives you an idea of how long that snake would be if I was able to kind of stretch him out. So snakes will shed their skin as their body grows. They're gonna shed at different rates depending on the species and the snake's age. Our king snake sheds its skin about every one to two months right now. And you notice that when they shed, typically the entire skin is shed all in one long piece. Now, if you look closely, you can actually even see that the skin covering for the snake's eyes even comes off in that shed. So it's a really, really cool thing to look at because um, you can get a really good close-up look at what the patterning of the scales is and even underneath on the belly how those scales look different from the scales on the top. Gives you a really good view of that also. You'll notice that his skin is a really beautiful, shiny black color, and they have a white chain-like markings um, on their scales. Now, one thing that king snakes are most well known for is the food that they eat. So they will eat things like mice and birds' eggs, frogs, lizards, other kinds of things that most snakes will eat in the wild. But another thing that king snakes will eat is other snakes, and that includes venomous species. They actually are immune to snake venom, which allows them to hunt, kill, and eat venomous species like copperheads when they're out in the wild. So they are a really, really important predator. They help keep the population of those kinds of animals down. So even if you really don't like snakes very much, if you see a king snake, you should say thank you.